Hi, my name is Joanna Hutchinson um, and I wanted to give you some follow on um, information of some of the data I've released globally, um, why it's so important and, and what really is it and, and where does it come from. Um, so I think one of the good topics uh, to discuss is so so what is a chat ne network anyway? Uh, fundamentally, it's a, it's a bit like a text service or messaging. You can do it either on a, on a special device of different software. Um, you can use, uh, you know, an iPad, you can use your software on a, on a laptop. Uh, it depends how it's all set up for the individual. But what I thought would be really good is to give you a real life example of what a chat network is, uh, where secret messages are kept. Um, and then you can see the whole concept behind where I found my data. So what I'd like to do is run through an article that was published on the 2nd of July 2020 by the BBC. Uh, and this says hundreds arrested as crime chat network cracked. Now, obviously, the link will be um, below. Um, I'm also going to paraphrase a little bit, but um, I'd love you to look it up if, if you're still um, interested in in what this really means and, and where are they keeping these secret messages. Um, so and also would like to point out that 18 months earlier, I had reported Enigma style um, coding messages uh, that I had found following some illegal behavior um, where I was attacked um, and then and then charged uh, the other way around. So they said, I attacked these men. One of them has a license to be a bodyguard. Anyway, there's there's other videos to explain that. For now, I'd just like to, to go through this BBC article titled Hundreds Arrested as Crime Chat Network Cracked. A top secret communication system used by criminals to trade drugs and guns has been successfully penetrated, said the National Crime Agency. The NCA worked with forces across Europe on the UK's biggest and most significant law enforcement operation. Europe-wide arrests after messages on EncroChat were intercepted and decoded. More than two tons of drugs, several dozen guns and 54 million in suspect cash have been seized, says the NCA. It was said that the hacking of the network had allowed the disruption of criminal activities, including violent attacks, corruption, attempted murders and large scale drug transports. The NCA says the messaging system has been used as a criminal marketplace to coordinate the supply of Class A drugs across the world and import weapons, including assault rifles, submachine guns, shotguns, pistols and hand grenades. Metropolitan Police Commissioner Dame Dick described it as a game changer. She said this is just the beginning we will be disrupting organised criminal networks as a result of these operations for weeks and months and possibly years to come. Nikki Holland, NCA Director of Investigation, said the operational team had described it as akin to cracking the Enigma code. They say they, they see this as that significant in terms of getting that inside information effectively having a person inside an organized crime group telling us what they're up to she said let's just take that in for a moment 18 months earlier i had reported exactly this scenario that i found whilst researching the men who attacked me and then said I attack them and then a whole massive cover up started. I mean, it doesn't really help that the chap I was investigated said without his encryption device on that he worked for the MOD. So unfortunately for me, I went 18 months previously to this article. There were no other articles that I could have got this information from. I'd never even heard of such a thing. Um, 18 months earlier, I go to the head honchos, the directors of the National Crime Agency and unfortunately, I report the National Crime Agency and the MOD and the security services to the very same people. Um, so now you know roughly 
what kind of concept this is. This is why I'm saying I know exactly what they were doing. I know who they are. I knew what they were doing. I could test them. I was watching them message in front of each other using the same code words that I would go back and read in the data. Uh, they had no idea that I had already cracked it. My father was a, um, a code breaker in the Second World War, a uh, part of Bletchley Park. Then he was out in India and Burma in the jungle, uh, cracking codes, and that's just how my brain is wired. I also used to be computer programmer. Um, so for me, this is not that advanced. And also when you take to account quite often, they forgot to turn their encryption device on and it's in plain English. So for those who wanted to know, really, where are they? How did I find these messages? What, what are these messages? They are literally their messages to each other talking about these vile acts, corruption, conspiracy, attempted murder, um, bullying, targeted individuals uh, on a personal level, following me, um, intimidating me literally physically destroying my house my house is collapsing and I have all the evidence I have all the conversations well I'm sure there were more um right up to the you know again head honcho level where it's authorized uh fake cctv faked interviews uh faked um witness reports uh, just corruption things that were hidden uh the lies so it's literally just you picking up somebody's telephone well, a lot of people celebrate and reading every single message. And that is exactly what you can find in the data. Until the next time. Thanks very much. Bye.